Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For this video today, I'm going to be showing you two ways to edit and improve the automatically generated YouTube subtitles for your videos. I'm doing this video today particularly because I'm currently working on um, using uh, learning languages via YouTube subtitles. Um, but in kind of the same vein, uh, this is a way to make your subtitles better for the benefit of other people. So here's the video I uploaded to YouTube last night uh, about a uh, venue in Jerusalem, um, a restaurant. And I'm going to now just before I do that, actually, let me say this is I haven't done anything at this point. This is just what um, this is how it's appeared to me in YouTube when I click into the subtitles tab on my video. It's already generated, automatically generated English subtitles. Now let's go and check out how that looks on the actual video here. If I jump ahead to some dialogue or where I'm speaking. Now we're going to click on the settings icon and in subtitles we have English auto generated. Again, to emphasize, at this point I haven't added these. These have just been added automatically by YouTube. And you can see the subtitles tend to be pretty decent. I would say they get us... 70% of the way there you know you can see clearly old city needs to be capitalized Scottish guest house needs to be capitalized more missing capitalization we don't need a uh, to appear in the subtitle and uh, this is where it's, it's actually messed up here it's uh, I say Jerusalem and it's uh, capture that as no Jerusalem no Jerusalem Jerusalem no Jerusalem um, perhaps I wasn't articulating very clearly here And there's actually a good reason if you're doing videos and I need to remind myself of this to speak slowly and clearly because it will help the translation algorithm to do a good job. Now, what I can do is work on these translations to improve them. So what you can do is click on duplicate and edit and continue here. And what you are going to be able to do is edit these YouTube subtitles by hand. Now, the first way it's going to present them is as a chunk of text, right? This is what the algorithm has spit it out without the timings. And it, 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 in my experience and from my perspective, if you don't have a ton of time to dedicate to improving the subtitles, I would actually say this is probably the best way to do it because the timings are usually accurate. What's usually falling down in my experience, and of course this is getting better all the time, is the, uh, you know, the actual translation itself. So... I'm not sure why my capital H isn't coming in there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel needs a capital. This is Daniel Russell. No, this should be this is uh, Daniel Russell here. Always trying to find, uh, I had my caps locks on. You can please eat and drink in. Jerusalem means a capital and bring this video to you from is the Scottish, so on and so forth. I'm not going to bore you or waste your time by doing this by hand. Now, one other thing you can do is copy off this subtitle file and pop it into anything with a um, find and replace functionality. I'm just going to bring over my LibreOffice writer here. And what you can do is program some find replace things, right? So um, if I take a, uh, for example, I mentioned that that wasn't something we wanted to hear or see in the subtitle track, find and replace, find a uh, UH, and let's just see how many times it appears in the transcript. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And I can replace I can just do a find and replace and replace it with nothing, right? So I'm gonna do replace all. And there we go. We've cleaned up our us. Now if you have um commonly, because I guess the way I speak English, I tend to say uh when I'm thinking for a word. If you if you're American, you probably say um. You can do a find and replace and clear up the ums in your transcript too. So now we're in a better bit of a better, um, you know, and you can also on the fly. So what you can do then is uh, copy, go back in and actually overwrite this file. And it's going to actually preserve the timings. Now, if I'm doing a find for a, uh, I'm not finding any us. So that has been updated. So the timings are, so this is one way you can really, really speed it up. The second way of doing this, um, how to improve, another way to improve the auto-generated YouTube subtitles would be to click on edit timings, and this is a bit more involved. You might prefer to edit it this way by seeing line by line. It also allows you to play it back. 
So if you're not sure about something, you can do it like this. And you can also tweak the timings of the subtitles by making adjustments on the timeline. So this is actually much closer to creating YouTube caption, captions by hand, uh, which I've also shown how to do, where you literally uh, type out what you said. It's the slowest way of subtitling, but of course, probably the most accurate. Uh, you can all, The final way you can do this is to import a SRT file or any, any form of subtitle file and then edit from that. So there's actually a multiplicity of ways to do it. I said in a previous video, I think that starting from YouTube's auto-generated subtitles is probably the best way at the moment because you're saving yourself time and you're using YouTube's AI to your benefit. But um, in order to make these subtitles as good as possible for your viewers, it definitely does usually need a little bit of cleaning up. And these are two ways to do it. Just to recap, the first way to do it is you'll get a big chunk of text from YouTube and you can just literally uh, you know work away here and it's tedious and it's boring but it will uh, it's you know it'll improve your subtitles for sure the second way you can do it and what I recommend if uh, to save a bit of time is to copy and paste that file into a text editor and just run a couple of finder places in order to get rid of stuff like um and um and anything else that you see YouTube constantly getting wrong and then pop those back in and the second way is to click on edit timings and uh, you can actually edit the timings uh, or edit it line by line and listen back to compare what the subtitle came out as to what you actually said. Hope this video is useful if you are subtitling your videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching. And if you want to get more videos like this, please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.